I don't think we can be confident about that yet. Uh, I think uh, the South African demographics are different from this country, a lot more young people, a lot fewer old people. Um, time has not gone by sufficient for people infected necessarily to have got sick. It takes a week or two for that to happen. Uh, but most of all, we just don't have enough cases and enough experience to make confident uh, predictions about how sick this is making people. And then the other questions relate to the transmissibility, the signs so far is that it is highly transmissible. And of course, the biggest question of all is to what extent it's able to evade vaccine induced immunity or immunity from previous infection. the approach being taken here in the UK and, and probably almost everywhere else is that uh, uh, with new variants, he who hesitates is lost. Uh, if, you, if you wait for certainty or for more information, it then becomes too late to do anything very effective. Um, within the spike protein, not only are there more than 30 mutations, but 10 of them are within the receptor binding domain, which is critical for neutralizing antibodies because that's the bit that binds to human cells. And of the four domains that are known to be epitopes for neutralizing antibody, three are affected. So <clears throat> that, that might mean that there's still some um, residual neutralizing activity from that fourth domain, but it also means that three others are potentially affected. So lots of reasons to extrapolate from those mutations towards thinking this right might really matter. <laughs> The most immediate thing that, that can be done and that will be being done right now is to take sera, that is blood samples from people who've had infection and who've had vaccination with the different vaccines and are known to have uh, titers, high titers of antibodies that neutralize the, the previous variants, Delta, Alpha and Wuhan, uh, and now put those antibodies in the test tube with this new Omicron variant and see whether and how well they prevent the virus, this virus strain from infecting human cells. If you've had the infection or had vaccination, you're likely to be protected to some extent, although we just don't know how well. Uh, the, the principle behind giving more vaccine doses to people who already had them is that that will jack up the level of antibodies in your blood. And if the antibodies are working less well, the only way you can tackle that is by having more of them. So that's why boosters make sense. But, but if you've got no antibodies at all because you've not been immunized and you've not had the infection, then you are in a very dangerous place. Uh, one of the things that we've discovered already about the virus is that it it has a similar it has the same mutation actually that alpha had which enables the pcr tests that we do or some of them to pick up the virus quite quickly without doing sequencing uh, and so that's actually a bonus it means that we can recognize the number of cases more quickly in that indirect way and the signs are that there are indeed more cases around than the ones we already know about <laughs> 